Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions of substituting benzenes focusing on the halogens. And uh, as mentioned in previous videos, halogens do not fit neatly into to, uh, the categories that all the other functional groups do. They are deactivators. And they are... and ortho para directors. And so it's these halogens that are the problem because the halogens are the reason that the deactivators and activators, ortho para meta director groups don't have a perfect one-to-one -one correspondence. <clears throat> and so you know, what that means is that we have three read geochemical outcomes uh, the reactions are slower with the halogens, but the halogens still favor ortho and para. So let's talk about what's going on with the halogens. Um, first, we can talk. Let's talk about uh, the halogens are deactivators, which means that they withdraw electron density from the ring. Actually, I don't like this structure here because it suggests something. Uh, but we'll leave it there for a minute. They withdraw electron density from the ring. They slow down reactions. But the halogens have lone pairs. So that doesn't make, it makes them unlike the other uh, deactivators. So in fact, while they withdraw electron density from the ring, uh, and they do this by induction. They are uh, mostly electronegative, so they, they do this by induction. They are resonance donators. So you can draw resonance structures for the halogens that put negative formal charges around the rings, much like you can for the various activators. This is where things start to get a little bit tricky. Actually, this, this competition um, they donate by resonance. So also this competition between resonance and induction actually exists in some of the activating groups. Like the halogens, oxygen and nitrogen are electronegative. Uh, it's just that for those groups, resonance wins. For the halogens, the donation by resonance explains their ortho para directing behavior, but Um, you know, they, they donate by resonance, um, but they withdraw by inductions. With the halogen case, there's a size difference. So that size difference between carbon and chlorine matters. And it's that size difference that makes the resonance donation is not important or not important for uh, the rate effects. It's not as strong of a resonance donation because of the size difference. However, uh, just like the, the activating groups, the halogens, like chlorine, uh, promote and, and sort of stabilize the carbocation intermediates that form at ortho and para. Let me move some things around. Uh, 
I'm going to move this one. Yeah. Okay. So the intermediate leading to ortho substitution is stabilized by resonance. Even though the, the ring is a little bit less electron dense than you would expect. What I do not like my, my, my box here is cutting off the hydrogens. There we go. In the meta case, just like with uh, activating groups, the cation does not end up uh, next to the chlorine, so it can't be stabilized even even little bit by resonance. Let's move, move some things up here. Give me a little bit more room to do para. And again, like in uh, the activating case, there is one resonance structure that puts that positive charge next to chlorine, and we again have a stabilized intermediate. So chlorine and, and the other halogens are electron donating through resonance that explains their ortho para directions. They are withdrawing by induction that explains uh, how, why they are deactivators. In the next video, I'm going to summarize all this, this different types of groups in a nice table. Uh, and then we'll finish up the series with a couple of uh, examples of how this might be used. Thank you for watching.